Hey, how's it going everybody? It's Aaron here and welcome back to more of my Lords of the Fallen Beginners Guide. So in today's video, we'll be making our way through Calrath Cicerin. Hopefully I said that correctly, but yeah, this is going to be the last portion of this before we make our way up to Upper Calrath. Um, we're going to have to battle our way through all this. We're actually going to... Let's see if I can just run through everything real quick. Because what we want to do here... Let's try to run through everything. So I'm not fuss. We'll get this map in a second. See if I can make it. <laughs> so, feel free to fight those guys, but I want to just plant a seed. So I'm just gonna hope I can get through this guy. This guy can be an asshole sometimes. So we're gonna just plant a seed here. Let me kill this freaking dog. All right, cool, perfect. So let's plant a seed here. Come on. Perfect. All right, so plant a seed here. Um, feel free to fight those guys. Don't be like me and try to run through it. That's a trap right there. Um, I just ran through it just because it's just easier. But let's get this map real quick. So I'm going to run and grab this map. So let's just run here. Grab this map. Cool. Perfect. And then we'll just keep going. And then we'll just keep going. That's gonna get me. <laughs> Saw that coming. I'm not fussed because we're gonna rest at um, our seed. All right, so now we're gonna rest here. Just reset everything. And uh, this is gonna be a short video as well. So essentially, what we're gonna be doing today is we're gonna fight the main boss, who's literally up over here to the left. We're gonna defeat that boss. We're gonna get a key that's gonna allow us to come back down here and drain all the water here. And then this key is going to allow us to get to an optional area. And then this optional area, if you're trying to unlock the Umbral Ending, you want to do this area, as this is what's going to lead us towards that, to be able to unlock the Umbral Ending. And that's going to be the next part. We're actually going to be going through this optional area. Um, but in today's video, we'll be taking on the boss that's hanging out up here. He's right there just chilling. And then we're going to go down here and do the optional boss. We're going to fight those three Reaper-type enemies. And then we'll cut through there, and then we'll drain the water, and then we'll unlock the optional area, and that'll be it for today's video. Alright, so for this boss here, let me get a little bit closer. So, if you remember the last... I don't want to trigger it. Come on. Come on. Ah, well, let me do it. Ah, oh, crap. Alright, I'll just pause here. So we actually fought this boss before as a normal NPC. So in the last video, we went back to the lower Calraf, the second part, and we actually fought this enemy, very easy enemy. But for this particular boss fight, all we really need to do is he's very aggressive. So all you want to try to do is either dodge his attacks or try to parry. But essentially what you want to try to do is get enough distance from him because what we want to do is we want to soul flay him. So I'm aiming over here because my goal is to try to like roll to that back corner. And then what we want to do is just soul flay him and then DPS down his soul. We have three soul charges, so we should be able to um, essentially just defeat him really quickly. One thing I recommend doing, I, was, I didn't need to trigger it, is we could uh, equip one of these on, so this will give us an easy uh, a soul flay, so we charge it. So that way, we're able to just soul flay him through the whole fight. But essentially, if you want to, you can kind of just parry everything. But for the most part, I recommend just soul flaying it. We'll do a lot of damage to the soul. Maybe we'll kill him in no time. Yeah. Trying to heal myself real quick. But the boss is not that bad. Again, I recommend just soul flaying. You can just parry all this stuff if you want to. Dash dodges, get behind him. Totally up to you. So I did that there. Usually, I, <laughs> I wanted to go in there a little bit more prepared, but, uh, but yeah. But around, I'm gonna wait till he gives about half health, and then I'm gonna soul slam down. But he's just really aggressive, which is why I recommend just soul flaying him. So I may actually let him just kill me here, so we can actually restart this fight. Yeah, I'm gonna just let him kill me real quick. Just because I wanted to, I forgot to actually equip the. Uh, this right here, and that will give us a, a recharge of our soul flick. So let's do this round two. 
bam. But essentially, those are his moves. He's just, he just very aggressive, which is why I recommend just getting behind him, soul flaying him, um, do it three times, drop his DPS down really low, pop one of these to recharge it. Uh, if you need to shoot him down, shoot him down. But essentially, you just want to keep a good distance from him. All right, let's do this. Now yeah, I'm better prepared. So we're just going to soul flame him. Yes, it's ass down. I'm try to get it some good distance. Soul flame him down. Force that miss. Soul flame him. Come on. There we go. Time. There we go. And then if you have a... Hold on. That's <laughs> so, always so hard to like try to talk and then explain something while I'm doing a boss fight. Because <laughs> I'm all like trying to focus. Alright. There we go. Alright, and then soul flame again. Come on. <laughs> Alright. Like, this boss is not hard. <laughs> just... I don't heal myself. Of course, he gets the hit. It's always right when you're about to heal. Alright, my charges are back up. Alright. Let's do this. There we go. But you can see there, his moves are very easy to dodge. It's just he's very aggressive. And then you can dodge that behind there. Try and finish him off the normal way. And there you go. Bah! There we go. But essentially what you want to do is I recommend just soul flame him. It's going to be a lot easier. So essentially what you want to really do is just try to get behind him, get a good distance, soul flame him. But his movements are very easy to dodge there. Alright, so no need to plant a seed there since we already have one right there to the uh, to the right. Do you want to open this up really quick? And then we're going to go back into Umbra real quick. And, and then we're just going to siphon this. Perfect. Cool. Don't go up this uh, elevator. This will take us up to the upper cow raft. That's going to be for a later video. So now we're going to go here. And we're going to rest up. So do that. But yeah, but again, for that boss fight, I recommend just soul flame him down, charge up again, rinse and repeat, and you'll be able to down him in no time. All right, uh, let's upgrade here. And now that enemy, that boss is not going to be just a normal enemy type. Okay, so vitality, I have the rune on right now. So that gives me, with the rune on my shield... Yeah, we're at 25 already, so I'm going to start pumping into uh, Vitality. So, we'll start getting that to about 45, and then I'll start working on uh, getting my Vitality up to uh, 30. Alright, cool. So, now we're going to... See if we can, can I walk past this guy? No, of course. God, I hate this archer so bad. All right, cool. Take them out. Perfect. All right. Now we're going to make our way and do the optional boss. Unfortunately, you don't have to do this boss, but I do recommend it just because it is a boss. You will get some uh, scouring and all that stuff like that, and also bragging points. Um, so what we're going to do here is we're actually going to go right over here, and then we're going to go into Umbral. And yeah, and this fight can only be done in Umbral, so you got one shot. <laughs> you got one shot. Um, so we're just gonna go right here, jump across. You can see the boss is right there. Siphon this. 
So throughout this guide, if you've been following it, you notice I've been just complaining about having to fight these guys. And I'll be honest, the first time I got to this part, I was like, oh, this dude is just chilling there. I'm going to go plunge him. And when I try to do it, all of a sudden, like, it's a boss fight. And how the start of this fight works is you're going to fight this guy just by himself. When you get him down to about half health, the other two are going to spawn in. So when I first did this, I was like, what the fuck? Like, holy shit. Um, and to be honest, they actually surprisingly don't hit that hard compared to just the normal uh, enemy type of this version that we see throughout the game. They actually, yeah, they don't really hit the hard. They do the same movesets where they're going to go underground. They're going to pop up. They're going to chase us. So one thing I recommend, honestly... Which just be really, really aggressive and just, yeah, because once we get him down to just one by himself, it's a lot easier to try to parry. But I recommend just being aggressive. So essentially, we're going to have this whole open area. Um, if you're being really aggressive, we should be able to kill this one. By the time the other two shows up, he'll probably have like a sliver of health left for us to kind of finish him off. And then we can work on the other two. But essentially, the same way you want to defeat them is just how you do the, just the normal way you want to try to parry their attacks if not dodge if, uh, we can soul flame that would get their posture down the reason why this fight can be a little bit difficult because obviously you're fighting three of them at the same time and just for me honestly it's the camera you can be looking at one of them and one goes underground your camera will spin around to the one behind you and you're just like what the heck so that's what i recommend just kind of being aggressive oh shit <laughs> i need to drop down um but you still want to be aggressive so, but the other ones are not going to show up just yet. You can see there he hit me. Like, that's actually not that bad. Get kicking, get kicking. There we go. Come on, get this done. Alright, got one of them. But yeah, they're actually not that bad. They don't hit that hard. I was worried that they were. And also the fact that you're just in Umbral. <laughs> myself here. I gotta be like focused because these guys are assholes. Try to get the parry off of one of them. Nope, 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 nope. All right, now we're good. We're good. Okay. Uh, of course. All right, now I'm just going to soul play this guy down, get his posture down. And there we go. So, yeah, <laughs> I didn't mean to fall off. <laughs> But yeah, but essentially, it's just you just gotta be really aggressive. Um, you can see there by the time the second one shows up, the first one should be almost dead, and then literally it's just the same. It's like rinse and repeat. You just want to just kind of dodge them, be able to get a soul play off. That's perfect because you'll be able to um, essentially get their posture down. Um, but if you're able to be a parry god, then you should. This fight would be really easy because you just parry them down after a couple hits, and then they'll uh, they'll actually. Uh, get into the, the stun mode but essentially there I like to just run around and just try to be aggressive and hopefully I can get a parry off but again this is an optional boss but like I said if you're trying to do the umbro end in unfortunately actually you know you don't need to cut this way there's a different way to get through here but so we're gonna go through here grab this and what we're going to do is we're just going to actually just go back to uh, our safe point and just kind of rest up since we used quite a bit of uh, heals there for that fight. But yeah, I remember when I first went there, I was just like, oh, what the heck? And then when I realized, like, oh, they don't hit that hard, I was like, okay, it's not that bad. And even though I fell down, you cannot get a plunge attack. I tried before. Um, you cannot, so. But again, they're totally optional. You don't have to fight them. So we're gonna go back up here, and then let's rest up, and then we'll level up our character. But like I said, they're totally optional. Um, 
they won't affect the ending or anything of trying to get an umbral. So let's uh, pump a point there. Perfect. All right. Let's see if I can roll past this guy without him noticing me. Sweet. Perfect. All right. Siphon this dude. All right. Perfect. All right. Okay. So now we're going to continue on. Now that we have the key. If you don't want to fight those those guys, don't worry about it. Not to go down there. Essentially, what we want to do here is we are now going to go down here and then there's this pathway here you see here to fight the optional boss we actually went this way if you don't want to do that boss fight you don't have to you can technically just drop down siphon the item that you want and then you can just probably uh kill yourself <laughs> or warp back to a vestige that way uh, you at least get the the item that we picked up and then uh the weapon with the hammer we picked up for the siphon one it's over there essentially we're gonna make our way over here at some point so you'll be able to actually just get that weapon there all right let's go down here so we're gonna go here we're also gonna have a new enemy type in this area and these enemies I don't want to say they're not hard they could be annoying if you're not paying attention and the reason why it is because they're slightly invisible so let me just clear this area out real quick. Right, we're gonna have these little flying guys here. So they can get them. Nah, I'm not gonna get them. Just shoot his ass down. God, these guys are so annoying. All right, see if I can get the. All right, so you're gonna siphon this. Grab that. And then we're gonna grab this. There we go. All right, so there's the visible guy. Cause so like, oh, poison's already on me? So that's the visible guy. It's a, essentially it's like a rogue slash archer. I think I aggroed him, but he's gonna be like right here in the middle of this hallway. He's typically like right here standing here, but I think I aggroed him. <laughs> that's why he came behind. I was kinda like, how'd I get poison? And he's gonna do poison to you. Um, we're going to be finding them a, a lot more later on, and they're just kind of annoying because if you're not looking, you have a hard time seeing them, like, you'd be like, well, how am I getting hit? And it's because, and they're one of those enemy types where, like, they'll run away constantly, vanish, pop back up, and they're very aggressive and seem to, like, not be able to miss when they shoot their arrows at you. All right, so we're going to go up here. We're going to have a doggo to the right, right there. And then it's also going to be one of those flame swords, but he's gonna have a parasite. So we're gonna try to just kill the dog really fast. Try to siphon this guy's uh, parasite. There we go. And then I like to just soul flame here. We're at close range, so let's try to soul flame his ass. Ah, shit, 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 got caught in that. God dang it. <laughs> oh, I hate... <laughs> Sometimes I hate beating Umbro. Because I was getting hit from behind from one of those guys right there. So, but it's all good. So. But essentially, you want to kill that guy. And then there's a gate in front of us. that The key that we got, that's going to allow us to drain the water. And that's going to take us to uh, the optional area. That's going to lead us to the Umbro ending. So, we're just gonna redo this again. Sweet, and aggro them. All right, siphon his parasite. All right, all right, good, good, good. Okay, so again, we just wanna go back here, go into Umbral. Gotta redo all this again. No need for us to go to that area over there. So just to go straight. See, there's the archer the guy. It's right in the middle. Again, never misses. And then kind of like a little drawback. Oh, 
Alright, let's try this again. Yeah, I hate fighting those fleeing guys at such a close range. So let's try this again. We could leave Umbral here if we want to, but I don't want to just because uh, there is a stigma here. I'm just gonna shoot his ass down. Okay, let me climb down. Let me climb down. I don't think I can hit him from here. Gotta love these ads. Alright, this guy's gonna be a pain in my ass, I can already tell. Let's see where he's at. Did he leave? All right, he's backtracking a little bit. Okay, cool. Nope, he's right there. Let's soul flam. There we go. I should be able to kill him with this. There we go. Got him. There we go. All right, so I'm gonna watch out right here because there's going to be a stigma right here, but there is an enemy behind this. Uh, Debris over here, he's gonna like jump out, so just be ready. Come on. See, he's right there. And of course, I'm locked onto the stigma. <laughs> Alright, good. So, activate this. Okay, get that. Grab this. There we go. And that boom, boom, boom. We got the key. Just gonna open that. Grab this. Good there. And we're gonna turn this. It's now gonna drain all of the water. So we're good. Now I recommend leaving Umbral. There you go. Perfect. So we're good there. All right, now all the water for the most part has been drained. So if we weren't in a, if we were still in Umbral, all this would be like kind of like up to like our knees, but down here this would be full of water. So we essentially just drained all the water here, and also there is a Reaper down here. So that's why I was like, no, let's not go into Umbral just yet. Uh, there's going to be a guy with a barrel. Where is he at? He's right there. So he's going to throw a barrel down at some point. Come on. Come on. Oh, okay. Usually there's a barrel there. Alright, perfect. And then grab that. And then... This guy right here to the right. good and then this is a shortcut if you remember we're essentially on the other side so this is where we got the map of this area so you can open this if you want to got that down here i uh, don't need to plant a seed there let's pick this up here got that ring that's going to allow us to cast umbral spells without needing the umbral catalyst and essentially this shortcut right here is literally where we were just at down below and since we drained the water, this is all, this would have been filled with water for us to go into Umbral. And we literally just went back around. That's all that we did. So now we're going to go down here and go left. So if we were in Umbral right here, there would be a, uh, a Reaper in this hallway. So that's why I was kind of like, we need to not be in Umbral right now. So now it's going to bring us here. And you can see here all this stuff was out of reach. And now we can reach it. He's going to drop down like that. And now you can pick this up. And we did all that work for some nuggets. And then there's going to be over here. Like that. And then good. And then that is essentially going to be it for today's video. So the reason why we're going to end today's video because that's all that's in this area. Because what's going to happen here. Sorry, I was trying to get into pause mode. Is once we take this elevator up here, that'll take us up to Upper Kalra. So that's going to be its own separate video. But what we're going to do next in this next video is we are actually going to make our way to the hidden area, the optional area. 
And in, in that video, we were essentially going to go up against, I'll be honest, a really difficult boss fight. <laughs> um, we're going to be able to complete Byron's uh, quest line. And then we're going to be one step closer to um, doing the Umbral uh, uh, ending. Because we'll be able to uh, find the item that we need to get to actually start the end in there. And that's going to kind of take us down the rabbit hole of that end in there. Um, I am curious about something. Let's see. So I actually never tested this out. I'm curious... If you don't fight the boss, the optional boss, are you able to... Huh. Okay. I wonder if you could do this. I'm wondering if you don't fight the boss, you can kind of just jump down really quick, siphon that, get across to get that, uh, that hammer. Because it seems to be the only way to actually get over there now that I'm looking at it. Yeah. I think that's what you're going to have to do. I don't want to go into Umbro just because <laughs> there's not going to be an exit for a minute where we're going next in the next video. But yeah, if someone can test it out for me, just let me know. But I think you can kind of just drain everything. If you want to not do the optional boss fight, actually no, because when you drop down here, the boss fight will start. So yeah, I guess you are. Yeah, you're going to have to fight these if you want to get that hammer. So, but again, the boss is not that bad. All right. So yeah, we're going to end today's video. I'm going to take us over here. I don't want to go too far out because we get the title card. So I'll stop right here. Alright, so we're going to end this part right here because this is the end of um, the Cicerian area. So stay tuned for the next part as we're going to be headed into the optional area and we'll be, uh, yeah, <laughs> get it one step closer to starting to do the whole Umbro ending. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. If so, please hit that like button and subscribe for more of my Lords of the Fallen Beginners Guide. So that means everyone have a fantastic week or day. Until next time, have a good one. Later.